Hey, what's going on? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts. Uh, today we're going to show you how to add an article using Drupal's predefined article content type. So just like last time, we're going to go to add content here and you'll notice article is one of our options. We're just going to select that. If you notice, this is the exact same except for it has tags and it has an option to add an image. So we're going to title this um, my first Drupal article. Of course, you can you know tag it or title it whatever you want. We can just give it tags of um, article test. Um, these, so these are comma separated. So this we'll just add one tag. This is an article. Actually, notice I forget the T here. Uh, okay, so we can also add an image. Let's click choose file. Um, I don't even know if I have any images on here. Actually, let's go to in my downloads. I have to have something. Here is our wallpaper, which is actually a gigantic image. Uh, might not take that. Nope, looks like we're just below the 128 megabyte limit that it has. Okay, so we're going to uh, not provide a menu link for this. Revision options, not going to use a revision. Uh, comments will leave open because it's a blog post or an article, so people might want to leave comments. And we're also going to keep this promoted to the front page so you can see what happens when you promote an article to the front page here. And we're going to leave it published. So let's click Save. Okay, uh, your, your first Drupal article has been created. Here's our image. Um, it'll say submitted by admin. Uh, on, so this is all default information built in the display of the content type. In the next couple of tutorials, we're going to be showing you how to customize your content types. And that's going to be involving uh, changing the display, the output. So we can do all sorts of things from changing the default size of this image to what is actually output and in what order. So you're not just stuck with this in this order. So as you can see here, you can add a new comment. These are your comment settings. Everything should be good. So this is our article. Last time it added our page to this main navigation. We told it not to do that, so it's not there. If we go to our home page, you'll notice that before this said uh, there was no content, you know, click here to add Drupal content. Now, because this has been selected to promote to the front page, here it is on our front page, our first blog post. So out of the box, Drupal offers really basic tools to get you going uh, to creating a basic page and a blog. If you know CSS and this is all you need to do, then that's pretty much it. Uh, of course, there's tons more to learn in Drupal. Drupal is so robust, we're going to be going over all sorts of things. And uh, like I said, just keep watching. There's going to be a lot to learn. In the next tutorial, we're going to show you how to create your own content type. Since this is my site, I'm going to have a, a section where I'm going to show off projects that I'm working on. So in the next lesson, we're going to show you how to create something like that where I can upload whatever I need, whether it's a, a video or an image or you know anything, however I want it, and you can set that all up. So what will happen is instead of uploading a page or an article, you have your own unique type. So that's what's coming up. Once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any comments or questions, please leave a comment. Hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Thanks for watching.